Well, good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you, and thank God for this glorious day that he has allowed, He permitted us to enjoy on today. And certainly, certainly, we are grateful to God for all of the wonderful things that he is doing on our behalf. Praise God, and he is doing great and wonderful things. As Peter said on one occasion, said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Praise the Lord. That's what the saints are doing in this hour and in this time. We are rising up and walking out of debt. We are walking out of bondage. We are walking out of sickness and diseases. We are just going to a higher place in the Lord. Praise God, and I thank God for allowing us to use his name as the power that will open up and is opening up the pathway for us to be able to cross over onto the other side. And we thank you, each and every one of you that is on the line and is on Facebook, and it is a joy to be able to be living in a time when there is such great modern, modernized technology that we can take full advantage of and be able to fellowship with one another even though we might be in different places. And God is so awesome. And he knew that, that he knew that this time was coming and so he put in place everything that was needed and necessary for us to be able to commune and fellowship uh, one with another and be in and encourage and strengthen one another. Praise God, I wanna welcome you tonight to the Word is Alive teaching. Praise God, where God is moving by His Spirit. Praise God, and He is doing supernatural and miraculous things. And we are going to continue our studies on tonight uh, uh, on some things that we were talking about for the last two, uh, two or three weeks. And we are talking about that hidden man of the heart or that hidden person of the heart as uh, Peter remind us of over in uh, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 4. And he said, let it be, let it be, allow, permit it, permit it to be the hidden man of the heart, of the hidden person of the heart that is being seen, not so much of the outer man, but the hidden man of the heart, because uh, the, the outer man, he is perishing. And, but the hidden man of the heart, he's being renewed day by day. And I thank God for, uh, for our renewal each, each and every day of the inner man. And, we are and when the inner man is strong, things on the outside begin to change. Praise God. And so uh, Peter also tells us in 2 Peter, uh, the first chapter, beginning at verse number 3, uh, some other benefits and blessings that we have and that we should take full advantage of. And God has done what he has uh, said that he, was, he would do. And he said in 1 Peter, 2, uh, 1 Peter 1, uh, 2 Peter 1 and 3, he said, He has already given us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us to his glory and to his virtues. In other words, God said, I have done what every, everything that I need to do for you to be successful and victorious. But there are some things that you need to do in, in, in order to make it become a reality. And praise be to God, that's what we want to do uh, is to make the promises of God's word become a reality in our lives. And when we do that, we will enjoy all of the benefits and the blessings that God has made available for those that will trust in him. And I'm fully persuaded tonight that you are a one of them that is, has made a quality decision to trust in the Lord. Amen. And I know that your trust is not misplaced. I know that if you continue to trust in him and lean not to uh, your own understanding uh, and acknowledge him in all your ways, he will surely direct your path. And we cannot have a better director than the Lord God himself. Amen. 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 And so, so far for review, 
uh, let's just read uh, verses 4 and through 11 and see what Peter is trying to teach us and trying to show us that we need to do in to be able to achieve God's plan and purpose for our lives. Amen. That we might spread the good news of the gospel of the kingdom of God that many, many people upon the earth and in this generation will have an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Praise God. And I tell you tonight, this is very important. Today I went to, had to go to a funeral of a young man. He was only uh, 36 years old, but he has left this world and he's in eternity. And I know that he didn't have no, uh, no idea a week ago that his time was so short here on earth. But I praise God that we found out today or yesterday that in September of last year, he made a commitment to the Lord. Amen. So what does that tell me? That tells me that somebody was on the job. Somebody was carrying out uh, the, the great commission that Jesus gave us before before he left earth and went back to glory, yeah. that we were to go into all the world and teach and preach the good news of the gospel of the kingdom of God, that everyone would have an opportunity to make a quality decision yeah. to accept him as a Lord and Savior. And truly right now, we have this great and glorious opportunity Praise God to be able to tell the world that Jesus Christ is Lord and he's Lord of all. And let's not let it pass us by. Let's take full advantage of this time. Yes. Praise the Lord wow. as we learn to grow in the word and so that we can become more, uh, more forceful, bolder, and confident mm -hmm. that what we are sharing will benefit somebody else. Praise the Lord. So Peter tells us there are some things, there are some qualities, there are some virtues that we need to have in order to be effective witnesses for Christ. Praise the Lord. So in verse number four of uh, 2 Peter 1, uh, Peter records these words. He wrote these words. He said, by which, by which have been given to us exceeding great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Now that we have escaped the corruption that is in the world, it is needful and necessary for us to move, I like to think about it, as, uh, from off the, off the bank and get into the water. Amen. If we're sitting around the pool, it's time for us to get off the deck and get in the pool and start swimming. Amen. Amen. And so verse number five said, but also, but also now that we're in the kingdom, now that Jesus Christ is Lord of our lives, Peter said there are some other things that we need to learn and other things so that we can be and do the work that we have been called upon to do. And, he, and so he said, but verse number five said, but also for this very reason, for, uh, given all diligent, add to your faith virtue, to your virtues knowledge, to knowledge self-control, uh, 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 to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance good, uh, godliness or, or patience. Amen. To godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if these things, if these attributes, if these a qualities of virtue is uh, 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 in us, amen, we will, uh, we will abound, we will increase in what we are called upon to do, yeah. because we will not be barren nor unfruitful, praise God, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, because he who liked these things, he who likes uh, faith, knowledge, virtue, and uh, and self control and and, 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 and patient and uh, uh, godliness and brotherly kindness and love, uh, we will not be able to uh, 
not only receive our uh, great rewards when we get to uh, uh, when we, we we when we get into the other life, but we will we will probably miss somebody on this side that we were supposed to work, uh, uh, witness to, Amen. And so we want to we don't want to miss anybody that the Holy Spirit has put in our path that we should we should and was designated and appointed for us to witness to Amen. because we feel like we didn't have anything to say or we felt intimidated yeah. or we felt we didn't have enough knowledge yeah. and because the enemy was whispering in our ears and saying oh you don't need to say that they don't want to hear what you have to say but because we are bold and courageous yeah. amen Hallelujah. we will say it anyhow yeah. amen praise God so tonight we're going to, as we grow, we have looked at uh, several of these uh, virtues of uh, 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 attributes or characteristics. Uh, first one we look at was faith, then we look at virtue, and then we look at the word knowledge, and then we last week we talked about self-control and discipline. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Tonight we're going to talk about patience, no. amen, or perseverance. So in all, the, in all the words, Peter said, I want you to be fruitful. I want you to grow in your faith. I want you to become something that you know that uh, you can be with the help of the Lord. And, uh, and so uh, patient, patient, patient. What is patient? What is patient? Uh, when we look up the word patient, it tells us it's nothing but perse perseverance. Uh, and perseverance is mean to be persistent, mm -hmm. amen. And to be persistent, we're talking about having tenacity. Yeah. Praise God, amen. amen. And and determination, praise God. And 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 being able to endure and take some things, mm -hmm. praise God, and and have some stay in power. Hallelujah. That's all. That's the only thing he's saying. He said, uh, he said, and add unto your discipline, uh, patience. Add unto your discipline some staying power. Mm -hmm. When things get tough, don't throw in the towel. Amen. When 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 things get tough, the tough get going. Mm -hmm. And that's who the Lord wants us to be. That's who He is requiring us to be. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so tonight we're going to look at the, all of the benefits of uh, of being patient and see what we can discover from these scriptures that will cause us to obtain and gain more, even more revelation. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we and when we are walking in divine revelation, there's nothing can stop us. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So tonight, uh, we're going to focus on uh, Psalms number 40. Psalms number 40. And to, to gain some insight into this word, patience. So let us turn to Psalm number 40. And in Psalms number 40, and uh, <clears throat> beginning at verse number one, we're gonna, we're gonna dwell into and pull apart and stretch out uh, these first five verses of this particular Psalm and see what David discovered and what David learned by being, uh, uh, by going through some things. Mm -hmm. And because he went through some things, he learned some things he would not have, had learned, would not have learned bef uh, uh, before had he not gone through these things. Praise God. So when, when hardship and difficult times come, don't run from it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, do like David and, 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 and see what you can discover or see what the Lord is trying to teach us or see what, it, what he wants us to know mm -hmm. uh, while we're in a hard place. Amen. So David said in Psalm number one, he said, I waited patiently for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of the Horrible pit out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. 
Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord my God, are your wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let us look. The first word we want to look at here in this, in this passage of Scripture is the word wait. Amen. Wait. David said, I waited patiently on the Lord. Mm -hmm. So let's see what David was doing while he was waiting for the Lord to come. The word wait means to delay or to defer action for a later time. Amen. And when I look at that definition for the word wait, to defer or delay action for a later time, in other words, it tells me we are going to take action, but we cannot be too hasty mm -hmm. in what we are undertaking to do. Nice. And the word uh, uh, wait also means to serve, mm -hmm. and it also means to hold on. Hold on. It also means to postpone. Sometimes it means to pause. Mm -hmm. Praise God, sometimes we need to pause. So David said, amen, I waited, I delayed taking some action that I normally would have taken. Mm -hmm. Amen, because I was waiting patiently on the Lord. I was, I, 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 I. and so while he was waiting, what was he doing? What was he doing when he was delaying taking some action? Praise the Lord. Well, let's let uh, David tell us in Psalms, uh, uh, Psalms number 27 and verse number 14. Psalms number 27 and verse number 14. Let's tell, let, they, let us let David tell us what he was doing and what happened to him while he was waiting patiently for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And see, we can always learn something from somebody else. Uh, yeah, it's really. never a time when we know it all. That's right. Praise God. And so sometimes I know we think that we, we, we mm -hmm. know everything and we can have it all together. But uh, let me remind you, even right now, there are some things that someone else knows that you don't know. Mm -hmm. And that will, that will be able to help you and help us in our situation if we just will allow them to. Amen. Amen. David said in verse number 14 of the... 27th number of song, he said, wait on the Lord. In, in Psalm number 40, he said, I waited mm -hmm. patiently on the Lord. Now he is admonishing us to wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. He said, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, mm -hmm. on the Lord. Amen. So David was here is teaching us how to wait mm -hmm. on the Lord. Amen. What he said was the first thing he said, wait on the Lord. In other words, uh, mm -hmm. when we are waiting on the Lord, we should always be in faith. Mm -hmm. While we delay in taking action, is not we will we are not casting away our faith. Mm -hmm. We are still standing in faith. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And he said, and and not only that, he uh, it means to be to stay confident and uh, continue to always have confidence in receive that you're going to receive or we're going to receive what we are waiting for. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. what, why, how do we know that? Because David said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Good courage. Amen. Be of good courage. Mm -hmm. So then while we are waiting, we have the confidence that God going to do the thing. Yeah. Because I know he's faithful to his word. All I have to do is stay in faith, and it shall, and it will come to pass. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And then he said, and he shall strengthen your heart. Mm -hmm. Well, in the meantime, David said, while we are waiting, amen, the Lord will strengthen our heart. Sometimes we need to be strengthened. Yeah. We think we are strong, but sometimes we're not as strong as we think we are. Mm -hmm. We might not be able to take as much as we thought we were going yeah. to take. And since God knows everything, he knows what's in our hearts, and he knows what we can do and what we can't do. He's, he's telling us, it's right, and it's, it's, this is not the right time. This is not the appropriate time 
for you to take this action. Yeah. Amen. Not that I don't want you to do it, not that I don't want you to have it, but you're not strong enough to handle it right now. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, I always like to share this little definition that I heard some years ago of a little girl uh, uh, that was she was uh, in school and she was being asked uh, what and they were talking about patient mm -hmm. and they were talking and they were asking the definition of what patient is and so the many of the other little students came up with different words for uh, 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 for 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 the word uh, patient, but she said so. When it got to her, they asked her, "So what do you say, little Jane? Uh, what the word patient means?" She uh, uh, means she said, "Being happy while you wait." Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when we learn how to be happy while we are waiting, mm -hmm. praise God. God will be able to bring to bring forth those things which He has promised us in His Word that we are standing for. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, waiting, uh, waiting also to, in this particular verse is that to be telling us to be or stay encouraged. Mm -hmm. Amen. Although it might be delaying, it might not have come yet, but stay encouraged. Mm -hmm. What do you mean being in stay encouraged? That God is still going to do this thing. I might not, I might not receive the money right now, and I might not have received, received the money right now. And I might not have gotten my, uh, gotten my car yet. But if I stay encouraged, it will come to pass. Mm -hmm. Praise! I might not have gotten my promotion yet. I might not have gotten that healing yet. I'm still having to go to the doctor and take some medicine, but I'm waiting and, and in faith. And I'm staying encouraged. Mm -hmm. Praise God, because of what God say is going to happen. Because He said, "Amen." By His stripes we were healed. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And so it's two thousand and some years later, and some of us are still having some diseases, of pain, or stuff in our body. But Jesus said, "It uh, uh, by His stripes." Or the Bible said, "By His stripes we were healed." Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is stay encouraged, mm -hmm. because His word cannot fail. Mm -hmm. Bless God, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. And David said, "He will strengthen. He shall strengthen your heart." Wait, I say. On the Lord, Amen. Don't go to, don't go running to anybody else, mm -hmm. Amen. Don't turn to any other source. Wait on the Lord. Wait. Go in the Word. Find out what the Word's saying about your situation, mm -hmm. and then make your stand on the Word. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Be steadfast, unmovable, yeah. always abounding in the Word of the Lord. So now, as we go back to to Psalm number forty. No, uh, let's look at, let's see what happened to David because he waited on the Lord. Okay. Praise God. He, 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 not only did he wait, but he said he waited patiently mm -hmm. on the Lord. Amen. And so in this particular verse, he said, uh, uh, I waited patiently on the Lord and he inclined unto me. In, in other words, David said, because I was waiting on the Lord, Amen. And giving him time to do what he it's did. Yours, it's yours. Amen. He he took a favorable position toward me. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. If you stay in faith and you stay encouraged, mm -hmm. God will take a favorable position toward you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what it means that he inclined to me. In other words, God took a, a favorable. How do we know that God took a favorable position? Uh, position concerning David. He mm -hmm. said, because he heard my cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So number one, if you wait patiently on the Lord, he will hear your cry. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's number, that's the number, the first thing that we need to learn mm -hmm. about the Lord. Amen. If we call on him and we mm -hmm. call him on him uh, out of confidence, mm -hmm. amen, out of assurance, out of trust, Amen. He will hear what we have, what we have to say. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'm so, so happy about to be able to share on tonight is that he said, if we know that he hear us, mm -hmm. praise God, Hallelujah. then we have the confidence to know that we have the things in which we have asked of him. Mm -hmm. And praise God, the things that we have been waiting on him. Well, look at David. 
why was David crying unto the Lord? And verse number two, and it said, and he heard my cry. Mm -hmm. And did God do what he said would do? If I hear you, then I'm going to, uh, you can have confidence, I'm going to grant you your request. Mm -hmm. Praise God. David said, he brought me up out of a horrible pit. In other words, David said, I was in a bad place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Some of us are in a bad place right now. Praise God. But if you're waiting in faith and you're staying encouraged, amen, and you're yeah. patient and you're looking to God, he is going to bring you out of that thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I don't care what it is. He's going to bring you out. Why? Because David said, I was in a horrible pit. Amen. I was in, I was in total discomfort. Uh, and everything around me was miserable and mm -hmm. seemed like it was miserable and seemed like there was no way out. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And so what does, what does this harbor pit look like that David was in? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, out of the mire of clay. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, these things were clinging unto me, cleaving unto me. Mm -hmm. Or oh, some of us got some stuff that had been mm -hmm. clinging on, cle yeah. uh, clinging on to us for a long yeah. time. Praise God. It looked like we were never going to shake it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But I stand here tonight to tell you if you stay in faith yeah. and if you just wait patiently on the Lord, yeah. he is going to take a favorable position yeah, toward Lord. you mm -hmm. and those things are going to have to drop off of you. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Amen. Because you are waiting patiently. As James said in the book of James, the first chapter, and I think it's verse number three and four, and he said, uh, uh, we are to uh, to allow patience to have its perfect work. Mm -hmm. Amen. In other words, what patience has to do is it has the work that it has to do. Mm -hmm. That's why we can't become too hasty mm -hmm. and we cannot take action too quickly. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We have to give patience its time to work. It's a virtue. Praise God. We don't. We didn't learn everything in the overnight. Mm -hmm. Right. It takes some time. Yeah, Amen. We had to go to, uh, in the natural, we had to go to school for 12, 12 years. And then after 12 years, if you really wanted to go up, go up you had to take on another four. My and God. if you saw some other things and you weren't satisfied where you were, you had to take on another two and get your master's. Mm -hmm. And it depends on if you wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer, you had to do another four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. So, amen. It takes time. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how far you want to go. And that brings me to a point, and I didn't think I was going to share it tonight, but the Holy Spirit just told me, just, uh, just brought it to my spirit. And he told me uh, the other day, said, starting the month of October, I want the word to be breaking limits. Amen? <laughs> breaking limits. And so the Lord is, is giving you a head start. Starting the month of October, he's going to be bringing breaking limits. Mm. In other words, I want you to raise your expectation. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God, because I have some. Uh, I have another position that I want to take you to. Praise God, and if you will expand your mind, if you will lengthen your cord, yeah. praise God, Amen, and be, and be like. Uh, Jabez, amen, enlarge my territory. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I'm going to break some limits for Hallelujah. you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody. Hallelujah. Thank I'm going to preach myself happy. Amen. Yeah. Glory, Glory, Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Because the Lord wants some stuff to drop off of you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's too much of this mire clay and mm. you living in living in a mud uh, in a mud park, uh, mm. pond. Amen. It's coming. Right. It's time to come out the mud pond. Help us, help Praise us. God. Yeah. Amen. Myra yeah. Clay. Thank and then you. when he brought David said when he brought me up out of a harbor pit and out of the Myra Clay, Thank the you. second the third thing he did was he set my feet on a pond of rock. Mm. Praise God. He established me. Mm -hmm. Praise God. He put me in a plate. He put my my feet in a place that was solid. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That I wasn't going to sink down no more. Yeah, Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. He He made it possible for us not to go back into that horrible pit. Yes, Lord. Amen. So now that the Lord has brought us out there, let us not go back there. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's not go back there anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. He's he putting you putting us in a solid place. Yeah. A place that will not cave in under the weight mm. and the pressures of this world. My Glory God. to God, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 
Then the, then the fourth and fifth thing that he did, he said he established Thank you. my steps. Mm. Praise God. He, uh, uh, he, what, what does it mean? He established or he stabilized mm. my steps. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to and fro here and there mm -hmm. and there, there. Praise God. Amen. I'm stabilized now. Mm -hmm. I'm not walking like a wobbling like a drunken sailor. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I can stand upright. Yeah. I can stand a wreck. Amen. Because I'm, I, I, I know I have assurance oh, that everything God. is going to be all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I don't have to feel weak. I don't have to feel intimidated. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I don't Mine. have to feel discouraged Thank because you. the Lord has encouraged me. Mm -hmm. He has encouraged us. When he brought us out the pit, mm -hmm. he brought us out, out of that bad place. Mm -hmm. Praise God, that bad relationship. Yeah, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Some of you have been fighting, trying to get out of that relationship for a long time. Thank but I'm, I'm here tonight to tell you it's time. It's Come on out of there. Glory. Come on out of Lodabar. Hallelujah. A Lodabar is a bad place. My Praise God. God. Amen. Amen. There's no prosperity in Lodabar. Mm -mm. Praise God. You, Amen. Lord. There's no victories in Lodabar. Yeah, Glory to God. That's why the king sat down to Lodabar and told Jonathan, mm -hmm. Amen, Jonathan's son, uh, Amen, Mephibosheth, to come on out of Lodabar. Thank it's you, time Jesus. to sit at the king's table. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Uh, That's why he God. brought you out of the uh, out of that horrible mm. place so you can sit at the king's table. My Praise God. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank Thank Glory Jesus. to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Verse number verse number three. He said, When he brought us, when he brought us uh, out of the horrible place, mm -hmm. amen. And took all of this mud and uh, filth off of us. Praise mm -hmm. God. We know when we were living in the world, it was all kind of filth on us. Mm -hmm. so, amen. And so he took all of that off of us and he put us in a solid place. Thank you. Amen. And established our steps so we won't be going back there no more. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Because the Bible does say the footstep of a good man, a woman, girl, or boy yeah. is ordered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And said the end of that person is peace. My God. Oh, bless God, somebody. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. God said, I'm going to put you on the pathway of righteousness Thank for my name's sake. Yeah. Good God Almighty. My hallelujah. God. Glory yeah. to God. That's what Thank it means yeah. by, amen, that he established and stabilized our steps. Yeah. Because now we're on the pathway of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So Thank we can give God some glory. We can give Thank him some honor. Yeah. We can give him some praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Yeah. Amen, Jesus. somebody. So Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do we know we want he wants us to praise him? Yeah. Because David said, after he put me in this in this place you, uh, where I'm stabilized, where I'm established, and my feet is being ordered, my then he God. put a song in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Because now we have something to sing yeah. and praise the Lord for. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have joy down on the inside. Yeah. Praise the Lord. My Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, what is your song? I don't know what your song is, but I know if he brought you out, he gave you a song. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know when the Lord brought me out, he put a song in my mouth, mm -hmm. and my song was, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me, because Satan had me bound. But Jesus lifted me. Mm -hmm. I was in sin and shame, but yeah. Jesus lifted. Glory to God, somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Ooh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You put a song in your Thank mouth. You, you put a song in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Praise God. My Amen. God. Amen. And then, and, and then not, and, and the song of verse number three said he put a new song in my mouth. A new song. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not the old song, the new song. Mm -hmm. And then he, then, and, and praises to our God. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you weren't praising him before because you was in the muck and the mire. Praise God. And he brought you out. And so now you can sing some praises. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you before, while you was in that harbor pit, the only thing you could do was sing the blues. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. And the Lord don't want you to sing no blues no more. That's Praise right. God. That's why he gave you a new song. Thank Praise my. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. And so you can praise our God. Yeah. Amen. Praise our God. And why is so necessary 
for us to sing this new song of praise My is God. because many will see it and trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory. Many will see it and fear the Lord. Yeah. Many will see it and hear it and start respecting our God. Hallelujah. That's what we, that's what it's all about. My when God. the Lord bring us out of these things, mm -hmm. it is for us to live a way of lifestyle, mm -hmm. praise God, that will bring, will force others around us to start Thank respecting you. our God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank Amen. If, if people around you praise God and they know you saved and they cannot respect your God, you better check yourself. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need to check because if you really live in holy mm -hmm. and you li really live in righteous, mm -hmm. Amen. Although they might be sinners, they're going to respect you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because they know you're not just anybody. Yeah. You're Lord. somebody in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Thank you. Many will see it and hear it and fear and will trust in the Lord. And that's our goal. That's our objective mm -hmm. is to get the world to start trusting in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. That's why it's so important for us to live right. It's so important for us to sing that new song. It's so important for us to praise and worship God. Praise God because then somebody will begin to become curious and begin to ask you, why are you praising God? Amen. And then you get a, it's all an opportunity for you to tell your testimony. Let me tell you what the Lord did for me. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And what I know, this is what I know. If the Lord, the one thing I'm for sure, I know the Lord loved you. Amen. And when and if he did such and such a thing for me, and I know he will do it. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. And so then now they will have an opportunity to start trusting the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Why is this so necessary? He said, blessed is the man, verse number four, he said, blessed is the man or woman who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud. Mm -hmm. in, all, in other words, we should make a distinction be who, between who we are trusting. That's right. Praise God. Who do you put your, who are you putting your trust in? Mm -hmm. Who are you putting your faith in? Or mm -hmm. then maybe another thing, what are you putting your yeah. trust in? Praise the Lord. My Amen. It's time for examination. Praise God. It's time for us to take an inward look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's what waiting does. One of the benefits of waiting is it causes us to take an examination. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of ourselves. Mm -hmm. To yeah. see if any sin in us. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Maybe that might be the cause of the delay. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because there's sin there and God is trying to get that sin out of us. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. He might he, so that we can line up with his word. Mm -hmm. Praise God. My. Amen. And once you line up with his word and he will release the promise. Mm -hmm. He will release the blessing. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's time to take inventory. Yes. I, is my life lining up with the word? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Have, have I come out of that old lifestyle? Yeah. Praise God, Hallelujah. somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. might be hard, but it's right. You can do it. Amen. And you'll never regret it. Praise right. God. Hallelujah. Amen. I promise Amen. you. Praise God. Because I, I have a personal experience. Mm -hmm. I know from which I speak. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Blessed is the man or woman who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the pride nor such as turn aside to lie. Mm -hmm. Oh, amen. Let, let, let's get rid of the, the little white lies, we call them. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's time to let them go. No such thing as a white lie. Mm -hmm. A lie is a lie. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. 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 And so, Hallelujah. because we, we're going to a new level now. Amen. amen. And, 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 and so, going in this new place, in this new position, Thank being God. established and having our feet ordered in the Word mm -hmm. and living on the pathway of righteousness, we cannot be telling them little, uh, them lies and things of that nature. Right. Praise God. Amen. 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 And, and they're not funny either. Mm -hmm. Praise, God. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, Why? Verse number five said, Many, O Lord, mm. my God, my God, are your wonderful works. Good yeah. God Almighty. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
That's where we want to go. That's where we're going. That's what the Lord means when I'm when He said I'm breaking limits. Yeah. See, limits are restraints. Yeah. Praise God. The Lord said I'm removing all of the restraints mm -hmm. that have hindered you and stopped you from receiving all of my blessings. Yeah. Oh, Thank praise you, God, somebody. Mm -hmm. We're gonna teach that next start of next month. We're gonna teach you how to Amen. To remove those restraints mm -hmm. and how to break those limits. Mm -hmm. and, and we're not going to allow anybody else to put no limitation on us either. Yeah. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Many, O oh Lord, listen to that. Many, multitude, O oh Lord, my God, my are God. your wonderful work. God is doing so many wonderful work, we can't even count them all. Right. Praise Hallelujah. God, we can't yeah. number them all. We can't Thank name God. them all. Mm -hmm. Praise God, which you have what not going to do, he has already done. Yeah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Which you have done. And your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted Amen. to Amen. We to us cannot be recounted mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. in order. Yeah. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than they I can number. Yeah. Amen. That's why Paul said over in uh Ephesians, the third chapter, in verse number 20, he yeah. said that uh, uh, God is able mm -hmm. to do exceedingly yeah. and abundantly above all that we are able to ask or think mm -hmm. of because his power is working in us. Yeah. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. 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 You got the power of God himself mm -hmm. working in himself. you. Working out of out of you mm -hmm. those things that is hindering you yeah, from enjoying all of His wonderful works. Hallelujah! <laughs> Glory Thank to God! Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you. Glory to God! Glory. Amen. Amen. So we want to declare uh, the wonderful works back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. How are we going to do that? We're going to be determined. Amen. And we're going to be ex and we're going to stay excited mm -hmm. and hopeful. Yeah. Praise God. And I shared some some months ago that hope is an uh, expectation is a derivative of hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we want to stay hopeful and in expectation because that is the birthplace of miracles. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you want a you want a miracle tonight, My you God. get in hope and stay in expectation. Yeah. Glory to God. Because the scripture tells us, Amen, in in Proverbs twenty four and fourteen, that when you have come to this knowledge and understanding, mm -hmm. your expectation will not be cut off. Mm -hmm. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Birthplace of a miracle. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. And mm -hmm. finally, my brethren, <laughs> glory to God. God. Cast not away your confidence, yes. which has great recompense of reward. For you only have need of patience. Yes. That, after, uh, that after you have done the will of God, yes. you will see the promise. Yes, Amen. Lord. And the promise of the Lord is, I will supply all of your need according, according to my riches, riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Jesus. And you mm -hmm. can do all things through Christ, Christ who strengthens you. you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So add unto your faith virtue and unto your virtue knowledge and unto your knowledge amen self-control and unto self-control patient yeah. praise god and the whole world is at your feet <laughs> glory to god. hallelujah hallelujah and we give god all the glory all the praise and all the honor because we are growing in faith and fruitfulness yeah. and to him alone be glory amen. majesty dominion and power forever hallelujah. and his word is alive. His word is alive. Glory to God. Amen. And we just thank and praise God for you. And I trust and pray that you receive something out of our word, out of our teaching on tonight, and share it with somebody else. Amen. And invite them to come and get on the uh, get on the line as well or on Facebook with you or share it with someone else that we all can grow and go up together. Yeah. Amen. My. Praise God. We can all enjoy all of the benefits and blessings and the wonderful work that God has done for us. It wasn't it was not for the world. It was for his people. Yes. Praise Lord. God. Amen. And so we thank and praise God for you joining with us on tonight. Thank and you, we Jesus. thank God for your faithfulness, your dedication to the cause of Christ 
And we are just believing God to continue to raise you up to be a mighty force in the earth. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, we're praying for your health and strength. We're praying for your peace and your prosperity. Yeah. We're praying for your family and your loved ones. And we're praying for your marriages. Amen. And that everything about you will be successful and victorious. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And if, you, and if anything that we can do to help you and encourage you and strengthen you on your walk, Give us a call. We would love to hear from you. Uh, you can reach us at uh, area code 870-854-7028. The word is alive and you are part of it because it, the word is in you. That's Praise right. God. Amen. And we thank God for you. And until Thursday night, a miracle night, we will see you then. And keep the faith. Keep the God faith. is on your side. Amen. Amen. Amen.